What's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a little different style video. We're going to be out here playing a few holes with the new Paul Macbeth Kratos and we're going to be doing a little vlog style talking about the tournament that I had yesterday at Gator Links Flight Factory Open. What's up everybody? Wanted to jump in real quick and let you guys know a little giveaway we're doing. I'm going to be giving away this Gannon Burr hat flex fit style hat so make sure you stick around to the end of the video to find out more details starting out here at hole two about 200 feet i'm gonna be throwing the i think i'm gonna throw the black one and putt with the purple one so let's try that all right they fly nice and straight so my tournament started out pretty rough yesterday my first drive i was 10 feet away from the basket caged it you know i got a cage a 10 footer at least once a tournament and i did it for the first hole which was like basically a tap in birdie absolutely killed my mental starting out I ended up shanking my second shot directly into the woods about you know 20 feet off the tee pad when it's a wide open fairway on this hole this is the one hole at this course where it's actually pretty open and i just shank it right like i just i literally just it, it fell out my hand i don't know what happened it was terrible so the conditions were pretty muddy. We had a couple of flooded fairways and especially walkways in between holes. That course is kind of notorious for not having good drainage. But despite having a few flooded walkways, I somehow managed to keep my Walmart shoes from getting wet. I don't know how they're like super thin on the bottom and cloth on the top. I'm not sure how I stayed dry. We had some little two by fours going through uh, the walkways that you could walk that you could stand on and try to stay dry. You had to balance on them, kind of. It was it was an interesting interesting time, but somehow we stayed dry, so that's good. And we didn't have too many slips on the tee at all. Walmart shoes for the win. So I'm 860 rated. I played MA3, and my goal just was to shoot above my rating. Spoiler: I shot one point over my rating, 861. That's right. Oh, it made it over. Dude, these things are money. So I was at least happy that I could shoot my goal, even if I just barely made my goal. Didn't crush it by any means, but we made the goal. So that's all that matters. And I won three raffles for the day. That's right. I won three raffles, not rigged at all. I promise you it ain't rigged. It's just crazy. They were all on the same reel of tickets. By the time I went up to go get my third prize, I almost didn't even want to go up there. Everybody was looking at me like literally every single ticket that got pulled out after the third one that I won, everybody would like look over at me to see if it was me who won. I'm like, dude, it's not me. <sighs> it was uh, it was something, that's for sure. But we got that Gannon Burr hat. We're going to be giving that away at the end of the video. So again, make sure you guys stick around for that. Okay, low key kind of shredding with these. What is going on? But yeah, I almost didn't even want to go get my prize when they called my name the third time. Well, they didn't call my name, but they read my ticket out. I was like, there's no way I want to get it. I was like in disbelief. Really kind of wanted to win that basket though, not going to lie. I'm happy with what I got. I got two new discs. I got a hat. I got some glow tape and uh, a mini, so. Dude, these are so nice. They feel really good too. They're basically, if you guys don't know, they're basically a Luna with a bead, but not like a bead added to a Luna. So it's no thicker. It's like cut in is what, what Paul Macbeth says. So what do you guys think about the flight numbers of this disc? Cause uh, it definitely doesn't fly like a 3303 putter. If you've ever thrown an Envy, seen a 3302. If you've ever seen me throw an Envy, I think it was beefcakes for me. So this definitely does not fly like a 3303, which a Luna doesn't either. So makes sense. I will say when you have like a low speed kind of push putt like I do, they're pretty overstable on putts, which typically I'm not a big fan of. I like a nice glidey straight putter, which is why I'm really loving the pixels right now because I feel like from any distance, they just fly straight for me, even on my like little soft, softy baby putt. So I don't know. I really like the pixels, but these are definitely really good for throwing. I'm really, really liking them. We got a little headwind on this hole, so let's see what we can do. Anyways, first round at the tournament, we shot plus two, which is pretty bad for me at Gator Links. I shot plus one the other day in a practice round, and I thought that was pretty bad. And then I shot plus two in my first round of the tournament, so. Wow, they are pretty stable, actually. I mean, I gave that some hyzer, tried to baby flip up, but it really kind of hyzered out at the end. That's awesome, huh? So you can trust them in the headwind a little. But yeah, like I was saying, first round didn't start out too great. I just 
I was really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I was having jitters. Hadn't played a real PDGA sanctioned tournament in a while. Last thing I did was the gold rush at the same course, but I shot like minus four there. So I was kind of expected to do pretty good yesterday. First round, I was just not doing the best. Yeah, I shot plus two. It's, it, it is what it is. It was like an 8.30 rated round. It wasn't, wasn't anything to brag about at all. Dude, these Kratos are, are really good. Like throwing putter. Oh my gosh. I'm I'm probably gonna bag one of these. I'm not gonna lie. This black one might go in the bag for a throwing guy. Not even gonna attempt to throw these guys on whole six because I already know I'm not making it 320 feet with these. So yeah, anyways, back to round one. Nervous, like I said, shanking shots. Started to play a little bit better. At least I could get the putter in the air. I was still missing putts, but at least they were, you know, not not caged 10 footers. You know, they were just missed 30 footers and stuff like that. So pretty typical for me in May 3. But that being said, I did start to bring it back in round two i ended up shooting negative two to even out the score so wasn't too bad after all again i said it was 861 rated even is 861 rated so that course is pretty tough i think like neg two was like 900 rated pretty hard course i will say it's really short like all the holes are like 200 feet 250 but just so much so, like if you get off the fairway it's a bogey 100 so you got to play it really good all right we're gonna throw a few more holes out here and we're gonna wrap it up and let you guys know about that giveaway so round two, I felt like I was doing pretty good. My putting was a lot better and I actually could make some in the basket now instead of, instead of like round one. A little on the right side, but not too bad. So yeah, I was making putts in round two. My biggest problem was that I didn't warm up before the tournament at all. I didn't, I, my first putt of the day was that 10 footer or 15 footer, whatever it was. And I caged it. Absolutely just caged it. It was probably more like a 10 footer, I ain't gonna lie. It was so embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. It was so bad. I'm like, how, like I let go of the putter and it just knuckleballed, like no spin. I was so scared to let, I was just so scared. I was so scared to put it. I, I, oh my gosh, it was so embarrassing, so bad. I was literally tapping. Everybody's like, oh man, it's such a good drive. You got a birdie. No, I didn't get Anyways, man, it was just, it was just really bad. But like I said, round two, we were at least able to make some putts. Felt pretty good. Minus two, I'm not, you know, I shot my rating, so can't be too unhappy about it. And I birdied a whole, I think it's hole six which I've never really birded before. It's like a big dog leg left pyro for the win, baby. Not gonna lie though, I threw that pyro a lot more than I ever did in the practice rounds that I played there. And just cause I started to trust it a little bit more. So I started throwing it even though I hadn't practiced the shot. And that pyro got me two birdies on 18, got me a birdie on both rounds and uh, a few more other birdies that, that I can think of. <sighs> Heiser, ooh. But yeah, I don't have a review for the Pyro, but I'm probably going to make one soon because it's an amazing disc. I never really had a overstable mid-range that I liked before. I did have a Buzz OS in the bag, but I never really liked it. I just never used it that much because I didn't like the way it felt. But something about the Pyro feels really good in my hands. I like the muffin top. I call mine muffin. I love it. <laughs> I'm also really loving this Kratos. This is not the black one. I'm supposed to be throwing the black one. Feels really good in the hand. It's not deep. I like that a lot. I like how it's a, like a shallow beaded putter. A lot of beaded putters you find are deep because of the bead. They, they just feel deep. Oh man. Oh, whoo, right over the top. If that thing just flipped up a little bit more, it really held that hyzer for a good bit. I love that. But it, it didn't like fade really hard. It didn't dump out the sky. It really pushed on hyzer. Yeah, these Kratos just feel really good. Really liking them a little bit more than I thought I would for putting as well, but they just feel good in the hand, that's why. We're gonna go in between the trees putt here. Oh, yup. We killed it on that first little bit though. We were really killing it with these. All right, we're gonna try it out on one more shot. A little turnover shot here in a hole nine. See if it tries to fight out the Anheuser. All right. A little low on that one. Let's see if we can throw the purple one a little higher. Oh, go in. 
Oh, all right. These things fly really good. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around to the end. I know some of you jumped around and skipped to the end. And that's totally cool. We're going to be giving away this Ganon Burr Flex Fit hat today. As you guys know, this was given to me in a raffle at the Flight Factory Open this weekend. So shout out to Flight Factory. If you guys want a little discount at Flight Factory, go leave a review on a product and we'll email you a 10% off code. So if you guys get this hat, be like, yo, Eric G gave me this hat. It's so sweet. You know what I'm saying? And we'll send you a 10% off code for anything you like. So make sure you guys do that. Leave a review on any product and we'll send you a 10% off code. So to enter the giveaway, what you're gonna wanna do is subscribe to the YouTube, leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below, and let me know what your favorite Discmania disc is right now. Also, if you could go follow my Instagram at Eric G Disc Golf, I'd really appreciate it. Not necessary for the giveaway, but I'd really appreciate it. So that's gonna be all for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite Discmania disc is down below, and we'll see you next time. Peace.